to make sure somebody's locked out or whatever that they can just go up and meet people. Okay. All right, you guys, everybody ready? Everyone can see me? All right. So we're going to start with the pants, right? Just to warm up. And your A position, right? On the ball of your feet. The ball of your feet is a big ball underneath your big toe, right? So not up on your toes, right? Not back on your heels, right? Just roll right up on the ball of your feet and push your knees out a little bit, right? Bring your toes in. So it looks like this. Right here. So I want to get into that position, right? And I just want to bend and, and come straight up. Bend and straight up. So you want your body, you want to teach your body what that straight up position feels like. Thank All the way up, hands back, right? Bend here, come low and go up. Right, we want to start there. This is where we play from. Not all the way down, not all the way up, but right here, right? So what the band does is give some resistance to that. So feet wide apart, outside your shoulders, right? On the ball of your foot, when you run, you want to strike with the ball of the foot, right? Bend and straight up, all right? And we do want to do a little crab walk here, right? Come down, right? Get in and out of that position. Just to warm up, right? Everyone's got their bands today? All right, here we go. So the A pop position, rolling over the ankles. So you're not gonna go, you're not gonna roll high. You're just gonna roll over your ankles and strike with the ball of the foot. Got a band. Tension in the band, right? And be wide enough just to hold the tension. And I pop. I pop, I pop straight up. Not out. Here, boom, 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 boom. Now, when you're playing with the ball, you want to pop, one, two, three, pop, and work in different kinds of touches, right? So here I'm touching the ball with the ball of my foot, right? Not the sole, not the toes, ball of my foot. But when I get off the ball, I'm popping. Right? So I can pop backwards. All right, now here, I want to move the ball real quick. All right, and then pop. And then pop. All right, so when you pop, I don't know if you can hear, it makes a little slam sound, a little pop sound. All right, so here we go. So a variation of the A pop, a team called IAX does the A-pop, right? What they do is they start with the A-pop and get behind the ball. Now, a variation from Real Madrid and Bayern Munich is they go inside, right? So the feet go inside, inside, behind the ball, right? So I ask, Feet wide apart the whole time, right? Bayern Munich, inside, inside, behind the ball. So we just practice that motion. Yes, well done, Dimitri. Marion, I can't see you on the camera, buddy. So I can't give you any pointers, but you'll get the video so you can practice, right? So, still with the warm up. B, so A is the ankles. This time, same thing. We're gonna roll over the knees. So a little higher, right back down here, up here. Here we go. Right? On the ball of the feet, knees wide apart. Right? Knees forward slightly, stand straight up. Down, straight up. Down, straight up, and we go B. Down, straight up, right? And then we do IX. So we're gonna pop and get behind the ball. So 
Still warming up, yeah? Right. Follow the feet. Right. Deep. Right. This time inside. Right. So the Real Madrid variation. Inside, inside. Same. On the ball. All right. So, still warming up. C's. Bring it halfway up your hip, right? Oh, I was going to grab a chair. No, no. <laughs> oh, I didn't tell you. I thought I was going to use it. So, if I'm grabbing a chair, right? I pull my knee all the way up and slam down. You can do it against the wall, you can do it against the couch, but I want to get. Make sure the bands aren't too high. Feet wide apart, follow the feet. Knee all the way up. All right, that's an easy one. I'm uh, a little off my game today, a little ill. So normally you do five sets of each of those. But we're gonna move on and you guys can always get the video later. So again, basic mechanics now, basic training mechanics with the ball, right? So what does all this mean? So I take my band off, the band just adds the resistance. All these moves are part of the mechanics when you manipulate the ball, right? So here what I want to do, one to one for defense real quick, right? Because I plan to do that, right? I want to jump with the ball and tackle, right? So I'm going to do a two-footed jump and tackle the ball, right? And then I'm going to back pedal, boom, 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 boom. And when I jump, put my hands on my hip, right? And you guys can do, you guys can do this over and over and go boom, tackle, boom, boom, tackle, right? I'm just going to do a couple, but you guys should do it over and over and over again, yeah? So each one of these five sets of each exercise, right? And this could be uh, 15, five sets of three for this, right? So put a hand on the hip, on the ball of the feet, right? I go up, tackle. My tackle, put my ball on my foot, not the sole, right? And I come back. Let's have a look. Yeah, Dimitri, right? So this is part of your personal training regime. Yeah, right? And then tackle the ball, right? And don't forget, really important part, once I tackle the ball, right? I'm going to backpedal. So I don't see a lot of backpedaling in people's games. So we got to learn how to backpedal. Same thing, if I'm too far away, I want to train my body to close and then backpedal. There's the ball, I can't get there. I'm still gonna close and then back down, right? So that the attacker doesn't feel that they got lots and lots and lots of open space, right? So when I can, when I can close in the tackle, right? If it's too far away, I'm going to close and back down, all right? So part of the mechanics, how you become a better player, right? All right, so we're gonna do a, a fire, fire crossover, okay? Which is, my foot's gonna strike and crossover plant. My foot's gonna strike, crossover plant, right? Really quickly. But we're gonna do a defensive one first. So again, same idea as the, as the first drill, right? I'm gonna close the space and then back pedal. This time I'm going to take a stab with my foot, cross over to the ball, stop, and then come backward. But the complete illusion I'm coming forward, come backward. Right? Now, guys, let me see it. Let me see it. So cross over forward, stab, cross over, attack. Right, let's see it full speed. 
Go ahead, Dimitri. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so one thing about Dimitri is doing it really well is that when he's backpedaling, he's standing up straight, right? So it's almost like when I attack the attacker, the ball carrier, I come down, and then as I come back, I'm gonna work my way up straight. Right? Same mechanics this way, very much like football, right? All right, now, similar moves attacking with the ball, right? So, this time I want to attack with the ball, cross over and push it, right? So then use a crossover, so I'm going in one direction, and then I'm gonna change direction, right? So here, so if I'm going here, I'm gonna stab, cross over, stop, and then switch up to some futsal class, indoor soccer, and go with the sole of the foot, push hard, and attack with the sole of the foot. So here we go. Not bad, let's see it. Yeah, there's a soccer ball in the living room. But the sole of the foot, don't wanna take it with the outside, don't wanna take it with the inside, right? I'm gonna go over the top. So as I stab this way, I'm going here with my toe, the bottom of my toe to change direction, yeah? Let's go the other way, right? So now, this one, I go this way, right? Trying to stab, cross over, jab, and then go forward. When I go forward like that, you might want to use the first three toes across the top of your foot. All three toes, not just the ball. Boom. Right? So here we go. We'll go back this way, the other way. Right? And listen, if you don't have a ball, you don't need a ball to do this. This is training, how you train, right? So without the ball, you just pretend the ball is there. Right, I push it outside. What I really do this is along the line. So the out, out, out of bounds is right here. And the variation of the three toes, I wanna push and make sure the ball goes along the line, right? So here we go, full speed, ready? I wasn't supposed to be, my bad. Right? Kind of shy with that. <laughs> shy with that. Okay. Here we go. So, in order to get me full speed, I gotta get in position first. Right? I gotta think about the stab that gets my engine going, right? I gotta stand straight up, right? So, here we go. There we go. That was full speed. Right? You lose your top three toes, push the ball on the line. All right? So, let me just see what I can come up with. That's a warm up, right? Let me see what I can come up with on the YouTube channel. I'm gonna share my screen here. One second, where's it? Zoom, here's the Zoom. Share my screen, there we go. Share my screen, you guys. You guys can get to see what I see. All right, here we go. So my YouTube channel is gonna be Midwest, Midwest Futsal Club, FC. We got all kinds of videos there as well. So we go. Let's see, let's see, let's see what we got. Here, here's the channel. We're gonna, I don't have to subscribe you. All right. So my videos, and let's see what we got here. Okay, we got this, this video here. We're gonna work on pivoting and shielding the ball today. So here's a video about pivoting and shielding the ball, right? So they're building up, they're building up, and the furthest player over here, 
he's going to set up with his back, his back to the defender with away, putting the ball away from the defender. And see how he steps on the ball there? So that's called a wedge. So this is a futsal specific move. You may not learn it in soccer, right? I'm going to step on the ball, right? And, and I can get my big wide stance, right? And then push out from here. So you guys know what I'm doing with my feet. I'm stepping the ball. Then I'm going to reach out with my hand on the right, right? I'm going to feel the defender come, right? And I'm going to check. To, I'm going to check over my right shoulder to make sure I'm not double teamed. Everyone just do that. Turn. Right? You can use a box, whatever, right? Right? If you want to use your your, your uh, a physical training technique, you're gonna jump. Back side to side with your foot on the ball and your hand out. Right? So use the wedge. Right? Switch feet. Wedge. Hand out and jump. Pivot. Pivot. So unlike soccer, when you shield in soccer, this leg tends to be, tends to be, sti tends to be still. In, in futsal, you want the technique to have this leg move, right? And you can do it later, but part of your warm-up can be wedging the ball, right? So you'll see that back leg, the leg that's off the ball is moving. You see him hopping on that leg, right? Big and strong. And he just holds the ball up so he can get some help. And that's the wedge, right? So let's do the wedge and the shield. So from the wedge, right? The chair is gonna be the defender here. From the wedge, I reach back, feel the, feel the player, right? And then I go back onto the player. I put my back against the player. So if you're an older brother, a dog, whatever, parent, set up your shield in the wedge. And then you turn with your back like that, right? So if I go here, hopping with my leg, set up the shield, and then turn on my back, yes. And then hop back. And then I start again. So this leg, I'm hopping, I'm hopping, I'm hopping, I'm hopping. I set up the shield and I go my back on, right? And I switch. So, first things first, I'm hopping, I'm wedging, I'm wedging. Set up the shield. Back on, yes. Low, get low, get low, yes. Okay, so that's how you shield the ball. And that is the wedge. What else we got for you here? All right. So here is more shielding and pivoting, right? So when you want to, when you watch a game, right? If you watch this video later, you look at some of the skills and you incorporate them into your physical training regime, right? So the first thing you need to do is even without the ball, you need to teach your body to move this way. Then you incorporate the ball. So you can see some shielding, there's the pivoting and turning, right? So rather than put his back to the player, he's gonna actually spin around and spin around the player, right? So like we can do that, right? So here we go, we set up the wedge, right? And rather than go back on, right? Rather than go my back on, I'm gonna take the ball and I'm gonna pull it behind me. So I go from my wedge position, right? 
I'm gonna hop, I'm gonna pivot, and I go here this way, right? So this leg, not like soccer, where you just stand here. This leg, I go this way, and I pull the high knee, and I shoot. Don't shoot if you're in your living room. Don't say coach told me to shoot. Okay, so, but the basics of it are this. I can use a chair, I can use mom and dad, I can use little brother, sister. I set up the shield, set the wedge, right? And rather than go back on, I'm gonna go this way with the standing leg, and then pull back the other way, and shoot a pass, right? So, we got two things we can do out of the wedge. One, the pivoting, and then we shield backwards. Two, we're pivoting, and then we turn and shoot. Let's see it. Let's see it, guys. Let's wedge. Let me see. Wedge. Oh, I like the shirt, Marion. Yeah. Now pivot. So jump on that standing leg while you're on top of the ball. Jump, 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 jump. Now turn and shoot. Turn behind you, pull the ball behind you, pull the ball behind you and shoot. All right? All right, watch some more of the video. See how he's backing in, he's backing in, then he turns. All right? So here's the other one. So we can practice that. So we're in the wedge. All right, we're going sideways. We go backwards. Oh, I do my right foot. I'm in the wedge. Foot, standing foot is moving. Boom, 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 boom. I go backwards into the shield and then I back up with the ball. I move the defender backwards. Y'all saw that in the video? So we can do that. <laughs> Don't do that. That's not a high percentage pass right there. That's the one we just did, the crossover and push down the line. There he's wedging backwards, he's wedging, he's wedging, he turns, shoots, right? All right, maybe he's gonna cross over and pass. Cross over and stop the ball. Now he's wedging and he's backing in on the shield and he turns and he shoots. Right, so before you can play at this level, guys, your warm up, your routine has got to incorporate the stuff with and without the ball. Right, that's the crossover down the line. There's the wedge, there's the shield, and the pull. So, in slow motion, right, you should practice this without the ball. Wedge, pull, pull, pull. Change direction, shoot. There it is again. So he's pulling across his body very quickly. So that's probably another variation of what we did, right? So if he's in the wedge, right? He's in the wedge and he's shielding, he goes back on, right? And he goes very quickly, rather than go backwards this way, he goes very quickly forward. And the trick is that he's on his left foot, so no one expects him to go left, right? So he's in the wedge, 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 backwards, right? Wedge, wedge, backwards, and then quickly left. Forward, right. So that's the opposite of the move we did the first time. Right, but you can spend time on YouTube watching them play and they'll figure it out for you. You figure it out from there. You gotta do a little bit of homework. Okay, how are we doing on time? Oh, it's, that's just about it. Okay, guys, so that's a little bit of how you warm up for it, how you incorporate the the mechanics, what you need to do into the warm up and the training, and then you do it with the ball, okay? So they're gonna put the video up on YouTube for the PAL session. You can watch it all week. 
All right, how did the, how, and look at, look at last week's video too, because you guys weren't here for that. All right, guys, thumbs up. We'll see you next, we'll see you Thursday. Turn this off. We'll go back to the regular. Uh, we'll go in. We'll stop the share.